everyone and welcome back to my zone active kids where we actively invest in your future whose future your future My name is Marisol Stoffer and this is my beautiful friend for today. Hi friends, my name is Desiree Garces and of course I'm excited to be back. Yay! What's the theme for today? So our theme for the week is My Community, proudly brought to you by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. And today? Yeah. And today is all about my community. So Desiree, no, oh, not my community, my, my neighbours. <laughs> I got so excited. <laughs> so neighbors aren't just the people that stay next to you um, or um, at the back or in front. Neighbors are the people around you. So mm -hmm. it can be your, it can be the people that you go to work with or the people that you go to school mm -hmm. with or the people you see in the shops or the people you see on the playgrounds. Mm -hmm. So today we are learning all about our neighbors and how important it is for us to love our neighbors. neighbors. Okay. Exactly. Mm, so what song are we going to sing? Um, and before we sing our song for today, I first want us to remember and to remind our friends that they can catch us every single day of the week from Monday to Friday at 9 on the MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages. And of course, they can catch us at 10 o'clock on One Up To, our digital television show. Oh, and let's not forget to thank and Innovations. Yes, Innovations so much for our super fun beanbags. So if you need anything for your party, please send an email to info at kickstartnam. <laughs> but now it's time for us to sing a song and I had an idea. Okay. I love Let's hear ideas. it. Let's hear okay. it. Okay. 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 Do you know the do you know the song about um, uh, the three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack 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 but only two little ducks came back. I think I could get the groove of it. Yes, it's a super fun song. Usually we sing it up until five, but we are only going to do from three. So we only have three little duckies that are okay, walking. Okay. okay, are you ready to say? And this one is also important because it teaches us that just like the ducks, we eventually all came back to their mom. Um, we should always be there for our neighbors. And like the ministry teaches us, we should always stay safe and always love our neighbors. So are you ready? I am. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Three little, little ducks went out them. one day. Over the hill and far away, Mama Duck said quack 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 quack, and only two little ducks came back. Okay, one little two. two. Ah, two, two little, little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama Duck said quack 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 quack, but only one little duck came back. One, one little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack 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 and none of the little ducks came back. Sad mama duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack 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 and all three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck said quack 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 and both of oh, all three of the little ducks, ducks came, came back. Oh, this is such a cute song. Yeah, I love that song. Mm. But now it's time for us to head over to arts and crafts. Yes. So please do enjoy.
welcome back to Arts and Crafts. So since this is my community week and today we're learning all about my neighbors, I thought why don't we make our very own house for today. So what you need is, um, I have a piece of paper here, a few pieces actually, so it depends on which colors you would like your house to be. I also have some scissors here, so remember what our rule is about the scissors, we never use scissors without mommy and daddy with us. And then I also have some very cool colorful markers. So I am very, very, very excited because I get to make my very own house today. So first things first, what you need to do is we need to decide what color our house will be. So my house will be blue and I have my scissors here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out um, a block so that it can be the base, the um, big part of my house. So I'm going to take my scissors and then I'm just going to cut a straight line all the way down for the block of my house just like this okay so this is an extra piece which I will just keep here somewhere with me next I have a piece of white paper so what I'm going to do is on my piece of white paper I will be pasting my house just like this okay but I first need some glue so I am going to get some glue um, there we go and I will be pasting my house so I have my glue here now I'm putting some glue here at the corners of the glue and right in the middle and I'm going to put the glue down and then I will be pasting my house. So what's cool is you can make your house a try a rectangle or you can make it a square. You can decide because it's your house. So now that I've pasted it, my house obviously needs a roof. So now I will be going and I will be taking some of my red paper here and I need to cut out a triangle of my red. So I first need to decide how big it should be. So I'm going to put the piece of red here and then with the black I'm just going to measure. So you see the blue ends here and then the white ends here. So I will just make a tiny little mark here and a tiny little mark here. Because now I know where the triangle needs to end and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna draw a triangle like this and then I'm gonna draw a triangle like this and now I'm just gonna complete the triangle there we go and now I'm gonna take my scissors and then I'm gonna cut out my roof of my house so I'm cutting all the way just like this then I am cutting all the way this side there we go and now I have some extra red so the red I'm just gonna put to the side and now you guys will see I'm just gonna turn it around so you don't see the black marker I have a roof for my house so what I'll be doing now is let's take away all the extra paper so you guys can see what I will be doing so I'm just gonna turn it like this so you can see and now I need to paste my red roof of my house here so I'm taking some glue and I'm putting it right in the corners again and in the middle putting it back I will be pasting so now I just want to make sure it doesn't go over the edge so once it's at the top of my paper I just make sure it's straight and then I press it down oh, it's a bit skewed so I just need to make sure it's straight press down and now my house has a roof I love this okay cool so next up, my house needs some windows. So I'm gonna take some of the white paper here and I will be cutting out a little square, just like this, and I'll be cutting it out. Just make sure it's nice and straight. Your house can also have like round windows. I love round windows. So these, this will then be two windows. So I'm going to cut it right in the middle. You know what? Let's fold it like this. Just so we make sure it's exactly the same size. Because your house windows need to be the same size. And then I'm going to cut it all along the edge. There we go. And I'm going to take some glue and I'm putting glue all on the corners. Just like this. And I'm doing the other one as well. 
because I want to paste them at the same time. has nice big windows so I'm just making sure that they are the same um, space from the sides just a bit like this. and now I'm pressing them so now my house has nice big windows but now we need to put some frames in the windows okay so what I'll be doing is I will be drawing a line straight in the middle like this straight in the middle this and then another one like this and another one like this so now my house has some windows and my house needs a door so I think I want a black door so I'm gonna take my black marker woo, and then I will be drawing a door so I think my door will be right here so it's down like this all the way I just want to add with a little crayon just so the door is nice and visible I am giving my house a nice cool door with a nice doorknob there we go and I think what my house needs now is my house needs a flower I want a flower right next to my house so I'm going to make a nice purple flower just like this but your flower can be anything there's one flower and of course it needs another flower and, um, and now I just want to add a pink flower as well so this will be a tinier flower Another one here and then another one here and the last flower here so now I'm just gonna turn it around so you guys can see this is my house so this is the active kids house and as you can see my house has some windows it has a door it has a roof and some flowers and what's cool is you can also put a chimney up here you can give it some green grass and you can just have fun so your house can do whatever you want but that's it from us for today for arts and crafts we will see you again um, later the week please stay safe What an interesting arts and crafts we just had, Maricel. Yes, honey. <laughs> but the fun doesn't stop here. So what's next? Our favorites. The Zoe. one and only. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You have to put some respect on it, Maricel. Okay, okay. The one, one. and the only. only. The magnificent. Mm. The amazing. The wonderful. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Zoe and Zeki. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Guess who's back, everyone? My name is Zeki. Hi, friends. I am Zoe. And, and I missed you guys so much. And we are niece and nephew. 
Zaki, mm -hmm. this is going to be one amazing week because our theme for the week is my community with the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. Zoe, what is mm -hmm. our theme for today? Today is all about my neighbors. Ooh, Zoe, mm -hmm. our neighbors are the people that live next to us. That's correct, Zaki. But neighbors are more than just the people who live next to us. Our neighbors are the people around us, the people who we go to school with, or see in the mall, uh, our guardians. Yes, yes, and also the people who are mummies and daddies or, or, or guardians that work with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our neighbors are the people all around us. Some are young. And some are old. Some are boys. And some are girls. Some are tall. Some are short. Some are loud like me. And some <laughs> are quiet like me. We are all different. And unique. So, Zeki, what, what is important for us is to love and respect our neighbors. And help them when they need our help. Mm -hmm. We are stronger when we work together. And we can get so much more done if we work as a team. What's gonna work? Teamwork. Work. <laughs> <laughs> but then we need to love and respect each other yet again, Zeki. Mm -hmm. And love each other for who we are. Yes. And we also need to be happy when our neighbors do good things. Yes. And 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 be there to help them when they get sad. Mm -hmm. That is so, so true, Zeki. I love how our ministry helps us to love our neighbors. Uh -huh. I think now it's time for, our, uh, for time for you to sing a super sad, fun song now with our friends. Mm, yes, I agree. Anna, one. Anna, Anna two. two. Anna, Anna, one, two, three. Love is sweet. Love is kind. Love comes from a family of mine. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. We are big. We are big. We are small. We are small. We are young. We are young. And we are old. We are old. We are, we are old, all different people living in weather with love. love. Love is sweet, love is kind, love comes from a family line. La 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 What's a super fun fact? Mm -hmm. Did you know that a happy heart is a healthy heart? And by loving your neighbors, what? you make your heart happy. Wow, that is super cool and indeed also so true, Zeki. That is true, Zoe. But that's it from us today, friends. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wow, wow, wow. Those two were so much fun. I enjoy them all the time. I can never get tired of them. But you know what? what? It's time for us to have some fun. Yes. So what are yes. we doing for our active activity today, Maricel? Okay, so what we're going to do today is the following. So what we're learning about neighbors and how sometimes you get people who are different from you. Mm -hmm. So you can say almost someone that's like the exact opposite, opposite. from you. Okay. But it's important for you to still love them and respect them. So today we're going to think about all the different types of opposites you get. Okay. So, but it's going to be a fun mind game and it's going to be quick. So I'm going to say something and Desiree has to immediately tell me what the opposite would be and then she gets to go. But it has to go like this, ne? Boom, 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 boom. Shake the room. Are you ready? I am. Born ready. I'm going to start now. One, two, three. Up. Down. Left. Right. Uh, blue. Pink. <laughs> Round. Square. Soft. Hard. <laughs> Loud. Soft. Um, tall. Short. Um, young. Old. Um, chewy. <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay, let me let me give a few also okay, because go. I lost there. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Slow. Fast. Um, why am I not black? <laughs> black. White. 
Um, <gasps> sweet. Sour. Um, oh, whatever it's soft and hard, man. Right. Left. All right. Wrong. <laughs> Stop. Go. Uh, backwards. Forward. Up. Down. Um, Left. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Round. Square. We, we said that. We said that, actually. We said that. Oh. But oh, there was feet. so much fun. Uh, feet. Hands. Yes. <laughs> but that was now, so much fun. <laughs> we are going to head over to our lesson. So get ready, friends, for week 19, lesson two. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is my community and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we know that we have to sanitize so let's take our sanitizer and put a little bit inside our hands then we rub inside around our hands, in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about connecting parts, counting, sounds, and numbers. For our lesson now, boys and girls, let us start on page five. On page five, we are going to be connecting our transport parts. Now it's going to be our job to connect one part of the transport to the other part of the transport. We need to take a good look at one side and then see which one matches. Then we are going to connect them with a straight line. I'm going to do this one, but with two different types of transport. Let's take a look at the board. Now I have two different types of transport. One, two. The first one seems to be the back of something. And so I need to find out, is it four? The one across it? No, it looks too small. Plus the color is not the same. So it must be for the one underneath. And that, my dear boys and girls, is a bus. So we're going to connect it with the line. There we go. So I have managed to connect my bus from one side to the other with a line. That means that the next one, I have to do the same thing with a line. I'm going to start 
here and connect it with a straight line so that I know that the two pieces are together of the same type of transport. Now that I've done that, I know that this is a bus and this is a car. So you're going to do the same thing. Take your time, you can use your colors to draw the lines and then when you're done with that one, you can move on to the next page, page six. On page six, we are going to be continuing, but this time we are going to be counting. It is going to be our job to count the items in each row and then write the correct number. As you can see, we have different items that need us to fill in the missing answer in the box. We're going to practice this together before you do it on your paper. So let's take a look at the board. At, on the board, I have three different things that need me to count and then write the number. For us, we have to copy these numbers, one, two, three or four. So if we're going to do this carefully, we need to first count the item and then write it in the box. Let's do the first one. I can see bananas, but how many bananas do we have? One, two. We have two bananas. So we're going to write the number two in the box opposite. We will start by going round and then down across all the way to the bottom and across as well. Now we have written our number two. The next one we count our leaves. How many leaves do you see? One, two, three, three leaves. So we need to write the number three and that's the one we're going to write. Let's start. We go up and round and across and round, making sure we have filled the whole box. Well done everyone. So we said there are three leaves. The last one we can see is of a lock. Now, most of us know this because this is how we lock the gates and the other gates that we have at home. How many locks do you see? One. So that means there's only one lock, which means we are writing the number one. And then we just go down. Well done, everyone. So you need to complete this exercise by yourself for page five and for page six. Take your time, draw nice straight lines and write your numbers facing the correct way. I will see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. For our lesson now, boys and girls, we're going to move on to something exciting on page 7. On page 7, we are going to be circling the items that make a loud sound. Yay! That means we need to test these things. We need to find out, do they make loud sounds or not? The first thing we can see is a bell. Now the bell, sometimes we use it at school to tell us when it's break time or when it's time to go home. The next thing we can see is a book. Now we all know books because we use them at school. The next thing we can see is called a whistle. Now this whistle is used especially when we are playing sports like running and jumping and soccer and netball. Then the last one we can see, some of you may know it, it is called a vuvuzela. Now this one, I'm telling you, is an exciting instrument. But unfortunately, we don't have it here. So 
what we could try and do is test the first three. Let's take a look at the first three. Now I have the first three here in the classroom. The first thing we want to test is the bell. As you can see, I have a nice big bell here. And we want to decide whether it's a loud sound. If it's a loud sound, then you're going to have to circle the bell in your book. But if it's not so loud, just leave it and wait for the next sound. So I am going to ring the bell and then we decide together. <laughs> that is a loud sound. I almost thought there was no bell. But definitely, did you hear that sound? Let's try it again. Is that a loud sound? Yes, it is a loud sound. So you're going to circle the bell. Thank you, Mr. Bell. You can go back quietly on the table. <laughs> Then the next one that I have is a whistle. So I'm going to blow the whistle and then we decide together if the whistle makes a loud sound. Are you ready? Was that a loud sound? Yes, it was a loud sound. Let's hear it again. Well done, it is a loud sound. So what are you going to do? you are going to circle your whistle. Thank you, Mr. Whistle. You can also go back quietly on the table. The next thing that we're going to test is the book. Now, let's see, does the book make a loud sound? Mm, no, it doesn't make a loud sound. Let's try again. No, no loud sound here. So we have tested the bell, the whistle and the book. And we said that it was only the bell and the whistle that make a loud sound. Now I want you to ask your parents or an adult about the last item there in your booklet. And they will tell you whether it makes a loud sound or not. When you're done with this exercise, my dear friends, you can now move on to the next one on the next page, page eight. On page eight, we are going to be uh, doing some number writing. It's going to be our job to write the numbers one and two inside the circle. And then we're going to write the numbers three and four outside the circle. So, Let's take a look and see how we're going to do that. I also have my circle and outside my circle. So we are going to write four numbers. One, two, three, and four. It's going to be our job to write one and two inside the circle. And then we will write three and four outside the circle. So let's begin with number one. We will write our one going down. And that is our number one. So, so far we have done one. Now we need to write number two. So we take our pencil again and we go round up a little bit, down and across. We have written our number two. We have one, two. Now we need to write number three. So let's take our pencils again. This time, don't rush because if you rush, that's how you make mistakes. Take your time and press your pencil down on the paper so that everything comes out beautifully. Let's try number three. I can use a different color. You can also use a different color if you'd like. We're going to write number three on top. Let's go. We go round and round. That is our number three. Well done if you managed to do that. Then the next number or rather the last one we're going to write outside of the circle is number four. 
we go down, across, we lift up our pencil, and then we put a small line across, going down. That is our number four. We have now completed our task. The two numbers inside are one and two. They are inside the circle. And then number three and four are outside the circle. This is what you have to do. Take your time, be neat, and I hope you are going to enjoy both of your exercises. If you have a bell, a whistle at home, you can also try to see by yourself whether they make a loud noise. Have fun and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. <music> Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. I know I did. Remember, if something is too hard or you're not sure what to do, that's okay. You can always ask an adult for help. Just make sure you finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our work, we need to sanitize. Remember how we sanitize? We put a little bit of sanitizer in our hand. Then we rub inside, round and round, in between our fingers and on our wrists. Don't forget your fingertips. Then you wait for them to dry before you touch anything else. Now that we're done with our lesson, I wonder where Soshi is because I know I heard him come in, but I don't know where he went. Oh, <laughs> there you are, Soshi. So from Soshi and I, we want to say thank you so much for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation. Wow, I had so, so much fun with our lesson today. And Desiree, did you know mm -hmm. the lessons that we have are based on the booklets that we do with the ministry? Oh, wow. Yeah, so our educational booklets are like across the country and in all the different vernaculars. So oh, I think wow. that's so cool. So you can literally have class in your own language. In your own language. Minist ministry of Education. <laughs> is doing, doing the, the things, things that need, need to, to be, be done. done yes <laughs> but now that was all that we had for today we hope you guys had fun and to remember please stay safe take care of yourselves and until we see each other again tomorrow bye